Hi everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite morph transition animation effects. I don't know if it has an official name, but I call it the morph and crop effect. I think you're gonna like it. It's so easy yet so powerful. Can't wait to show you. Let's get started. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. All right, let me show you this trick. It's a very cool animation trick you can achieve with Morph. And um, hopefully you can see how it works. It's, it's super cool. I mean, you can do some very sophisticated things in PowerPoint with your transitions if you know what you're doing. Okay, so let's unpack this little Morph crop animation trick and I'll show you how it works. All right, now to achieve this, you need at least two different slides in PowerPoint. I would recommend that you have your slides set to the morph transition. My recommendation is set it to a 1.25 animation speed. So the default's two seconds. I recommend adjusting that and speeding it up a little bit. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna insert a picture on your landing slide. So in this case, this will be my second slide. So I'm gonna go up and insert a picture. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this picture to the bottom of the layers in my selection pane. And I'm going to hit shift up arrow and just make this full size so it's showing up on screen right where I want it. So that looks pretty good, okay? Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that image and on my first slide, I'm going to paste it. I am gonna make it much smaller and to keep the layer hierarchy consistent, I'll move that down below. And here's the trick. What I want you to do is select the crop tool. Okay, hit crop. And then while holding that image, I want you to hold your shift key down and then click and drag that immediately to the left. So it's 100% out of frame, all right? So if you look here, it is technically here and that same picture is here. So as long as you have morph set and we go into presentation show mode, it's gonna give you a cool effect. Okay, as you can see, it's gone from really small to really big. And we can accentuate that even further if I select my image, I'm going to hold down shift, and make it really, really tiny, okay? So it's that image, if we go back to crop, is actually hanging out over here and it's just smaller. So the cool thing is all that scale goes with it. So you get a lot of free animation here. Now let's take a look at that and you get a big, nice pop out of there, okay? So lots of good power. That's just one little tip. I would encourage you to experiment with that. I mean, I'm just going to duplicate slide number two here. Let's duplicate that. Let's hit crop and let's just do another trick on it. So let's hit crop. In this case, I am going to, uh, let's just crop this image to about, eh, let's just say roughly one third and let's drag this over here. I'm just holding shift down to constrain those proportions. So we get a nice even slide. And now let's check out a one, two, three combo. So just some things to expand your repertoire, um, giving yourself some ability to do some things. Obviously you can see you could do more there. You could uh, increase the, the font size, change the layout to something like bullets. Just get it cooking here. So here would be like a one, two, three combo using that same crop trick with more. So just some really slick ways to introduce things. Okay, that was the Morph and Crop visual animation effect. Hopefully you like that. Stay tuned for more tricks, whether it's PowerPoint, virtual presentation, green screen effects, anything you need in that swim lane, that's what I'm here for. I'll keep trying to make videos at least once a week, posting them up there. If you have a need, drop a note in the chat. And of course, I'd love it if you'd like, subscribe, smash that notifications button. In the meantime, thanks so much and please make it a great day.